Creativity is the hot topic at this year's World Innovation Summit for Education in Doha as people from that world consider how learning can be more entertaining. But within a system focused on improving results and competitiveness, what can teachers do to unlock creativity? Paul Collard, who runs an organisation called Creativity, Culture and Education, thinks he has some answers. We train creative professionals artists, filmmakers, designers, to go into schools, to work with teachers, to help teachers reinvent or reimagine learning in their classroom. If you're in their classroom with their children, working with them, then you see real long-term sustainable change take place. Paul Collard's programme is widely used and particularly in schools in Northern and Eastern Europe. But what goes into being creative? So we have a very clear definition, we call them the habits of mind, and they are being imaginative, which people associate, but also being curious, being disciplined, being resilient and being collaborative. Other panellists at the summit explored how neuroscience and cognitive science can improve creativity and critical thinking. We have to see education as an interdisciplinary science, as a science which has to move forward and make progress, a science we have to participate in. We want teachers to be trained with all these different new skills. They have to participate in the research and then they're better equipped to make day-to-day -day decisions in the classroom. Our correspondent at the summit says... Those attending the summit have a chance to prove how creative they are. The computer coding training and the do-it-yourself sessions seem to be the most popular, with the more than 1,600 people attending this World Innovation Summit for Education, a three-day marathon with more than 80 debates and workshops.